Being dedicated to the vineyard is at the heart of Fremark Abbey. Our wines have always stood for a hallmark of quality in Napa Valley. In the early 1800s, Josephine Tixon and her husband John moved out from the East Coast to St. Helena. He was suffering from tuberculosis, and his doctors thought that the climate here in California would help him. Unfortunately, it didn't. Widowed at age 31 with two children, Josephine Tixon stays in California, and she starts a winery. She purchased this property, which we're on, built a redwood barn, and crushed her first grapes in the fall of 1886. Back in 1886, there was not a lot going on in terms of winemaking, so she was one of the pioneers. Josephine was one of the only women running a winery by herself. When you think about what she did, she persevered. She eventually sold to Anton Forney, who's the one that built the stone cellar in 1898. He's ramping up and he's doing a lot of incredible things and the winery is doing very well. And then prohibition comes. Knocks the winery down, but somehow the winery does continue. It was in 1939 that three business partners bought it out of dormancy. Abby Ahern, Charles Freeman, and then Mark Foster. They put their name together to form Fremark Abbey. They were the ones that really started making premium varietal wines. If you think about Fremark Abbey in the context of Napa Valley history, there's a continuity of style and quality that the winery's known for. Fremark Abbey has always stood for quality. You're guaranteed that you're gonna get a great bottle of wine that's timeless, classic, and truly representative of Napa Valley.